Peace, peace, peace. Hope your holidays and all that have been great, lovely, if you celebrate. The end of my year has been kind of fucked up, yo. I lost my brother. My brother just passed. Rush in power to my brother, Stony B1. How he passed was kind of foul. It's got my mind in a whole. I'm just seeing shit in a whole different perspective. When it comes down to the time we're in. It's not like I don't know the time. It's just when. When, when, when the foul shit is like right in your circle, right in your family, you know, it opens your eyes. Um, I've had a, uh, another family member pass indirect, but we knew we knew his time was coming. But he was a good brother, man. You know what I mean? Helped his family a lot, and uh, that was hard to deal with. <clears throat> And right now in my life, man, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being tried right now. I feel like, um, being asked to do a thing. I feel like I'm really being called to do a thing right now. And I've been doing it, but truly submerging myself into the persona of who I'm supposed to be. That calling is upon me. 2023 will be a great transformation for this vessel. Um, and this may be the last video that I do on this channel because um, it's time for some reformation and reconstruction when it comes down to the deliverance of nine science. There have been those out there who have brought the science, but um, I still feel like it's not being, it's not being expressed and given in, in the ways that it's supposed to be given by way of knowing that this is our science. Speaking about the science as if it is the science Right and completely overstanding uh, the reasonable expression. Let's go in. So in the case of my brother passing, some real foul shit. Right, you know, um, I'm not going to even go into it. My 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 background. I've, I've I've went into it a few times in my videos, but in regards to my brother. Uh, you know, I feel like it wasn't his time to pass away. And that's why I say this shit was foul. You know what I mean? And, um, I'm looking for the word to come through the ethers. It's a situation like that where, you know, we are awaiting the words to come through the ethers to reveal the situation. You feel what I'm saying? Which got me to thinking, man, when dealing, dealing with this science, you know, I've been dealing with this science like 30 years. I got into it when I was like 18, 19 years old, coming out of Cali, right? <clears throat> and um, in all shapes and forms that you can carry the information, I've utilized it throughout my life. And with it, I've went many places. I've met many people. I've shaken many hands. You know, I've, I've prayed with 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 different races of people. You know, I've prayed with different Africans. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I've been in different temples. I've been in tabernacles. You know, I've been around. You understand what I'm saying? But. While traveling and things of that nature, I've always been true to myself. I've always been true to where I come from, right? Where I was raised up at. And I was raised up in Los Angeles. And prior to getting any information, any knowledge, any knowledge itself, the 
first knowledge I got and the first protocol proto protocols that I decided to follow was gang banging protocols because that's what you see in Los Angeles. You feel what I'm saying? And I've also carried those protocols, you know, not that I've been actively gang banging out in different cities and all the cities and states that I've been in, but some of the principles and the protocols that you got to stand up on, you feel what I'm saying? I've taken them, I've, I've taken these protocols everywhere I've been, you know, and it's made me the man that I am today. You get what I'm saying? Divinely speaking, though, I've always been a brother that's been about higher intellect, naturally. You feel me? I, I ain't allowed niggas to kick it around me who, who had knucklehead mentalities, you know, made niggas look bad. You know what I'm saying? I was always about high, having high esteem, you know what I'm saying? Keeping your reputation uh, tight. You dig what I'm saying? Keeping your reputation tight, you know? Um, so, I, you know, I rarely... Or I would check a nigga around me that I was just clowning and acting stupid, man. Like, nigga, you making me look bad. You know, the homies can speak up for themselves, but you making me look bad. I can't have that, man. We can't we can't holler at no freaks, you know what I'm saying, if you out here acting stupid and shit. So with that being said though, like I said, I've been I've been dealing with all the knowledge you can deal with in, in regards to understanding who we are uh, biologically, uh, chemically, etherically, physically, mentally, you know what I'm saying? For 30 years, I've been dealing with all the information, all, all every school you can name, I've been in that school. But what I, what I find up until this point in my life is that it, it, we, we're, we're not changing mentally. Yeah, some of us are waking up. Some of us are waking up. But the negative side of it is still hitting us harder and harder and harder than ever. And we listening to that side. And we're not giving power to the positive side. And what you give power to manifests. You understand? It's just like religion. It don't matter what religion you follow. Whatever you give power to in thought, that's what's going to manifest. You can believe you get, your religion can, your God can be a rock. But if you believe that this rock can, can manifest things and you give these thoughts power, them thoughts are going to manifest. You dig what I'm saying? No matter what you follow, it's what you give them power to. And that's why they put out the negative music now. That's why all the music, right, all all the little young sisters down there, the babies out here now, they twerking, you know, they don't have no problem uh, exposing themselves, you know, they don't have no problem uh, taking their clothes off, showing butt cheeks on stage, you feel what I'm saying? Also with the young brothers out here, like, They're not sticking to the codes. They're not sticking to the rules as far as, you know, uh, courting a female, training a female, teaching a female, doing right by a female. You know what I'm saying? Basically, it's all right for me. I'm not going to put any, no, you know, get away from the categories I just threw out there. I'm just talking about love. It, the, love is, 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 is being destroyed out there. The streets is taking over. Love is being destroyed. Ain't nothing out there in the streets. <clears throat> Noah's vibratory states of mind. They got us thinking in the lowest vibratory states of mind. Our young brothers out there dying, yo. Young brothers out there. Young brothers out there don't have no... And had no problem. Pulling the trigger. Right? Now let me ask you a question. Is is that a is that a is that a systemic problem? Or naturally, is that how it's supposed to be? Okay. What natural natural clock 
are we following to to assess the mental degradation out here? You can say from 1991, right? 1991. I'm going to just put one group up there. Nineteen ninety one, two thousand two. You hardly hear any of that. If if you don't know who X Clan is, you under thirty, go check them out. You know. This is the music that we got to listen to. There's countless other artists out there that we got to listen to that 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 maybe the, the, the young brothers and sisters don't know about. Go back and go check that shit out. These these videos was the best programming. I mean, we wasn't even getting this. Thank God for some of these brothers who decided, and sisters who decided to rap like this. Speak about real truth. Speak about the history. You understand what I'm saying? Or it wouldn't, I don't even think it would have been like circulated. You know, some of these organizations, some of these organizations, what do I mean by these organizations? Some of these organizations wouldn't have been getting no play without the rappers and the radio stations and the broadcasting, right? So I remember back in the day, Then they called the Nation of Gods and Earths back then. It was it was suitable to call them the five percenters, right? Okay, you had Nation of Islam, right? Back then, this Chicago. I had come to learn that Nation of Islam in Chicago, five percenters, I'm going to say East Coast, five percenters, they were, five percenters was all over. Five percenters had a lot of respect back then, you know, a lot of respect back then. <clears throat> now, it's a debate about the five percenters, the book that Dr. York dropped, you know what I'm saying, the Nuwapian Nation, they said it was some static about that, man, I, I don't get into all of that. I don't even care about that because do you really have the truth at the end of the day? Do you really have the truth? And not one man got the truth. You feel me? A, a, a whole deity got the truth. Not one man got the truth. A deity got the truth. A, a man has been touched by a deity transformed into a deity. But that's a whole other that's a whole nother uh, video right there. So the five percenters, the nation of Islam. Now on the East Coast, you may now within hip hop, you had you know you had these little splinter groups of intellect, depending on what type of hip hop you was following. Like you know, De La Soul. You know they was considered like you know like hippie black nerds. You feel what I'm saying? But they was dope as fuck. Uh, you had who else? You know, Divine Styler. You feel what I'm saying? Divine Styler had, he kind of had, you know, he throw a little hippie in there, right? Depends on how you was, how you was, what you was paying attention to. You know, you had, uh, I don't know if you remember. Justin, Justin Warfield, season of the Vic. You know, I'm just saying back then you had then, but you did, you had you had answer a lot too. You had you Dr. York was definitely definitely in it. You know, whether you knew it or not, if you've seen Queen Latifah uh Dance for Me video, she got on that, she got on that military uniform, one of the buttons that she got on is an ASR, is an ASR button, right? Lowest vibratory states of mind. So the hip hop in the 90s, you know, to me, I'm gonna say this is like when nine science really cracked, it was in the 90s, 
you know, there was a lot of information in the 90s. You know, blackness was being pushed in the 90s. Blackness was being respected in the 90s, you know. Blackness had its own wave in the 90s. If you go look at the 90s movies, the 90s hip hop, you feel what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Uh, you had music. You, we, 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 was, we was challenging the status quo. We were challenging the status quo, right? <clears throat> and you know, you know that because of things changing, how things look today, this this is not this is like we upgraded today. This is this is um yeah, we evolved into something greater. The technology is getting better, yeah. The mind state, though, we're becoming more and more programmed and conditioned. Now they're thinking this, this, this biotech time. We in a biotech time. You know, there's hardly any organic. Right? You can't even trust that is organic. We moving so fast. Low vibratory states of mind. Why they continue to make to make this thinking appear to be popular by way of media, entertainment, numbers, likes. You know, the ones who are going to wake up is going to cause all of this to shift. And it's not going to go down as perceived. Because it's not going to fit into the organic aspects of life itself. What they are trying to create is a biotech world that is artificial like bizarro. We're going to be thinking all kind of messed up and things of that nature. That we already hating ourselves. We already, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the young brothers is killing themselves more and things of that nature. We are getting more and more off the chain. There is something needed out here in order for us to pump our brakes on, you know, and what we are composed of, right? Thinking stuff. This is coming from the sun. We need to stop playing. No more worship of the spoo gods. This is coming from the sun. So look, dollar bill, money, right? Dollar bill, money. What's that got to do with life? The chemistry of life. The blackness of life that's coming from the sun, right? Right? What's what's the money got to do? Check this out. Check this out. What 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 brought life into exist, existence? What brought life into existence? Person, places, and things, right? C-H-O-N, okay? But also, the four physical forces, gravitational, uh, electromagnetic, the weak force, and the strong force, right? Now, if you, if you study the weak force, okay, just to give you a little bit, this weak force is what, is what allows elements to, in a sense, shape shift. They could they could morph into something else, like a like a like a neutrino, right? Dealing with the weak force on a subatomic level can cause a neutrino to morph into an electron, or, or a neutrino to morph into and become a proton. You feel what I'm saying? So you know this is how I'm giving this is it is not is the the, the, the it's so basic it's the basic it, you know what i'm saying it's the basic this shit is the basic level because understanding the quantum level for real that's a lot of work 
But don't think trying to get this knowledge and we talking about ancient Egypt and Africa and all of that, that that's a void of space talk and, and chemistry talk and understanding C-H-O-N. What did these four elements become in religion, become in culture and heritage? You don't think they just, well, what else are they talking about? What else is what else is being talked about? Okay, when you talk about the T rule and the forces of nature, what what are you talking about outside of C H O N plus P? You see what I'm saying? And they they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you mystified. You can't talk about anything on earth unless you understand that you melanin. African, Indian, all that came after. You feel what I'm saying? We're talking about composition of, of the sun god and the sun goddess on this planet. And, 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 and likeness of the god sun. And likeness, are we in likeness of the god sun when... When the sun is a gas ball. Right. Brain. Okay. Right. Brain. Systematic nervous system. <laughs> Sun. Brain. The, the 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 core, right? Where fusion and fission is is is, is happening from hydrogen into helium to that's the brain core. And that's just, this is how we in, in align with, with our God. You know? Electromagnetism. The ether mind. As you think, that's what you are. And the thinking is they got us programmed, right? Because we don't even want to say the sun is our God. Like a lot of stuff will be done. We can kill a lot of shit if we just accept this principle right here. Okay? We want to keep holding up statues of, of, of what we were in the past. To, to to get people to get them to recognize our greatness, but we're great right now. We're great right now in our capacity. And we need to do things that have the same value and the same uh uh symbolic energy as these old statues that we keep holding up. You dig me? We need to we need to bring honor to what we are doing today. And give it the same value and credibility as we have for the ancient Egyptian statues. You know what I mean? We've been doing, man, come on, man. We we like, a, this is a whole different time. This is a whole different time. And what people don't understand, man, we on a cycle. We all need cycles. And we got to understand this all space, all matter, all time. Overlapping. You know, they say 24 hours in a day, but is it really? 24 hours in a day is earth time. There's a lot of stuff happening in our universe, 
A lot of it is controlled by these sons. That's the purpose of the sons. Where do the sons come from? We'll say this is this is a nebula. You know what a nebula is? It's them dope ass looking clouds in the universes, right? They got all these shapes. They looking like eyes, look like clouds or whatever. Pre suns, the interstellar medium, which is composed of gases. In these nebulas. <clears throat> and when it's time for suns to generate, they are they self-generate. These nebulas are the energy and the gases needed to self-propel themselves into a sun. The energies just attract. You feel what I'm saying? And all the energy is spent up. Boom. What comes out of that is planets and life. Dig that. What time is that? Nebula. No humans, no suns, no nothing. But this energy is used up to create suns in the galaxy, self-generating, and then after life comes. Human beings in the nebula. Right, exactly. See? We got to open our mind up how I started out with low vibratory frequency states of mind. What does that mean? They got you stuck in belief. They got you stuck in belief. Because you're really a god and a goddess. That's how, you know, with your lady, with your man, that's how y'all need to be rocking. When y'all get out there, that's how y'all need to be rocking. You know what I'm saying? High vibe. And like the suns, self-generating. We got to create the high vibe. We got to make it how we want. You feel what I'm saying? Because although they have a system to an assist, to continue the conditioning, we do as well when we think about ancestors. Spirit beings. This is all within all. Right, to be utilized. But we gotta we, we gotta be on the high vibe. What's the low vibe do? It brings destruction. The high vibe is life. You know? And you know what happens when you stay on the high vibe and you think about life? This is what's going to happen, Pete. You're going to get paid. Because the positive creative forces is going to bring you aid. And that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay royal and loyal to the positive forces in nature. And that's how you get it out here. And this is how you stay above water. You know, you stay in the ethers. You stay as you are. And you retain that godliness. As a man, you continue to wear your crown. You retain your kingship, you know. And you do anything to keep your king, kingship intact. You know. You make the mistakes, you learn from the motherfucking mistakes, you get back on it. But at the end of the day, it's high vibe. You know, if you ain't got the high vibe in life, 
You ain't going to be living right. And you need that A. You need to keep your mind on a principle so we can get paid.